Hello YouTube, this is Mayun J and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the new ROM which was released by White Tiger DK as you can see from right here um, <clears throat> for those who purchased the ROM version 2.0 you don't have to purchase this again you should, uh, you should have already received an email with the new ROM only if you purchased before if this is your first time purchasing this ROM, you have to pay, which I had to pay too. Okay. Uh, first thing you need to do is uh, I'm going to provide the link. You must go to White Tiger's website. Okay, and you have to download the SP Flash tools, the 3.12.1605, and you must also download the stock ROM, Goofon Wi-Fi O. 805 ROM and then you must also download the uh, the the boot image okay so once you have that downloaded now you're gonna organize them in a in a folder and then the way I did it was on um, from from my desktop I have here a sorry you probably don't see that but I'm gonna show you right here you see I made a folder called flash tools inside that folder I have everything I downloaded from the website okay uh, next thing you have to do is uh, you have to extract the ROM this ROM right here so what I did is I let me open a new folder I open a new folder and to extract it you're gonna hit extract files and then you're gonna select from desktop you're gonna select flash tools new folder and then you're gonna press OK at the very bottom okay now it's extracting it for you now you wait until it is completely extracted okay we're waiting here still there we go now you, you must do it on a separate folder because there's a lot of files inside this and you don't want to make a mess so um, you can rename this if you want. I left it like that. Uh, so once you open it, you're gonna see a whole bunch of files. Okay, as you can see, you're gonna see many different files. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back. Okay. And now you're gonna drag this, the boot that image. You're gonna put it inside the new folder we made. Okay. So you're gonna just drag it and then put it in here okay so now that's done for that and next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna extract um, the flash tool yeah, that you can do here because it's gonna make a folder for you automatically so here we see it okay now uh, before we use the flash tool you have to download the uh, from the website I'm gonna also provide the link you must download the uh, the, the drivers okay but now the drivers are in a separate side of his website and uh, let me see if I have it here it's called uh, flash tool plus drivers okay and basically what you have to do is you must install the driver okay before you do anything okay so the way I did it mine is already installed so it's not it's not gonna give you the the and I, I can't give you the full details but I'm gonna give you an idea okay first thing you do is by the way this is the new ROM but I, I haven't installed um, uh, the modern version this is just when you flash for the first time it gives you the Chinese one and as you can see it looks smoother and I like how the pages slide so far but this is complete Chinese okay um, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna power off the phone completely there we go so now once the phone has powered off you're gonna press and hold the plus button nothing else just a plus button and you're gonna connect because if you don't pr uh, press and hold the plus button the phone will just reboot and start again so you must press the plus button and connect your USB cable okay now you're gonna hear some things going on uh, it's gonna say things like installing driver as you can see down here okay that's good as you can see my drivers installed it says MTK USB 
uh, port com9 okay so the way you get to do that is because I already installed the driver so what you do is when you connect it for the first time using this method as you can see it's not powered on okay it's in a special mode by pressing the plus button so next thing is going to happen is you're going to go to to the start menu sorry guys I'm just holding the camera and so you're going to go to the start menu you're going to go to control panel and then if you're using Windows 7 you're going to drag this down and instead of selecting categories you're going to put large icons over here you're going to see device manager okay so basically you have to go to device manager now I have already installed the the drivers but let's say um, what you're going to look for when you're doing this the first time is going to say uh, MTK 65 and then XX preloader so it's going to show around this area where it says other devices so what you do is you click on it this is just an example you're not going to use this one that says unknown devices but when you see the MTK 65 XX preloader what you're going to do is you're going to click on it where it says update driver let me just try to minimize this a little bit then next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit browse my computer and then you're gonna hit browse one more time and when you, what you're gonna do is wherever you put the folder that I told you to download the uh, drivers plus uh, flash tool so you're gonna go here to uh, let's see downloads and then you're gonna come down you have to extract the file okay and then you're gonna see USB um, uh, BCOM driver you're gonna click on it now once you click on it it's gonna give you s for several um, operating systems okay here we have um, XP we have Vista and we have Windows 7 which is the one I'm using okay then what you basically do is just press OK and it's gonna install your driver okay it's that simple alright but you gotta make sure that you have successfully installed plus you're gonna know because uh, it's gonna disappear from other devices you're not gonna see the MTK preloader anymore so that's how you know you did it correctly okay plus there's another video here on YouTube that shows you how to do that okay it's made by one of, uh, by a YouTube member um, which he got into this as well uh, so you see as you can see mine doesn't say uh, MTK 65FX preloader because I already installed the driver so I was just giving you an example here that being said one that's done you close everything else sorry okay you close everything else you close all this stuff and now you gotta go back to this folder okay now on this folder what you're gonna do is let's see there we go there we go. So now on this folder, now you're gonna open the flash tool. Okay, you're gonna click on it. And here we see the flash tool. You gotta open this. Double click on it. Okay, so once you're here in the flash tool, what you're gonna do is the following. You're gonna go where it says scatter loading. You're gonna click on it. Now what you're gonna do is is the following. You're gonna go uh I'm already here because I did it already. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, go to uh, flash tools where you have your tools and then you're gonna go to new folder and then you're gonna go to uh, uh, you're gonna select this file hold on I'm sorry I think I did this too quickly so okay once you see MT6575 Android scatter that's what you're gonna look for okay you click on it then you're gonna get this message and you're just gonna hit OK alright so now this is where it got mixed up a little bit okay and um, I asked for help before because of this problem I didn't know uh, what you're gonna see is all the boxes must be checked all of them must be checked so when you come down you're gonna see this one that says config and it doesn't have here you can see is blank you don't see anything that's not good even if you check it what, basically what you gotta do is even if you check it it's not gonna work you gotta click on where it says config and you gotta select the file yourself okay 
so once you click on config now you're gonna see another config here don't select the extension for just select the regular configuration Okay, you're gonna double click on it and now I don't know if you can see that very well or it says I'm sorry let me scroll down so now where, where it says um, configuration now we have a location for it okay that is uh, how much show because otherwise you won't be able to uh, flash this okay so now now with your phone connected okay to the computer what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on where it says firmware upgrade okay you're gonna click there and now you're gonna see a status bar okay now you're gonna see a status bar is gonna go different colors you gotta wait until it's yellow it's gonna turn I believe is uh, red then uh, purple then uh, blue then a whole bunch the last one is gonna be the yellow one when you see the yellow one you leave it alone it's gonna take a little longer okay and you can't touch it you gotta leave it alone until because right now it's flashing okay as you can see here let me just try that okay as you can see it's taking longer so you gotta wait okay guys so once it's flash you're gonna see the yellow bar it's gonna take about I would say three to four minutes okay just be patient uh, depending on the computer you have it might take a little longer but don't interrupt it because you're gonna break your phone okay so once you see this round um, round green circle then that means you're done okay so now it's all good so we close all this okay we close this as well now we come back to the phone now you're gonna power it on there we go you have successfully flashed the the new ROM However, this is only what you're gonna see right now is the stock Chinese ROM. Okay, after this creation they did. I haven't installed yet the uh, White Tiger DK version 3.0 yet. Okay, but there's another video I did here. You can just follow those same steps. But anyways, I'm gonna make another video just to review his ROM and see what he has done. Okay. Um, it's gonna take about two to three minutes to boot up uh, for the first time uh, because it's configuring the new ROM but this is the way you must flash it okay uh, thanks for watching uh, please uh, let me know if you have any questions I can I can always help you out there's another video here showing you how to do this okay uh, here we see the ROM as you can see is in is in Chinese okay it's uh, it's gonna change to English soon. You just gotta give it a second here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So you just gotta give it a second. Okay. It's gonna take some time. As you can see, there we go. It's in English now. Okay. But it takes some time. Okay. So just 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 be patient alright so here's the new rum as you can see it's much smoother but everything is in English okay then I'm gonna compare as you can see um, this application is in English the photos application is in English it doesn't have Android market it just has the uh, the Chinese one the App Store as you can see okay uh, but now I'm gonna show you how to flash the, the new rum uh, which is version 3.0 I show you here before how to flash version 2.0 but this is going to be another video okay so we have successfully flashed the new ROM um, now you can set up wallpapers uh, here from the from the lock screen now you can change it with this ROM but uh, of course uh, White Tiger's uh, DK ROM is going to be much better than this this is just a stock ROM um, I will once again I'll be showing you how to install it thanks for watching have a good one and see you soon bye bye